Welcome back everyone. September is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month and this year nearly 300,000 American men are expected to hear that they have been diagnosed with prostate cancer. Right now there is no cure, but an early diagnosis can greatly improve the chances of survival. Team 12's Gabriela Becerra spoke with a local survivor using his cancer diagnosis to encourage others. The American Cancer Society reports more men are being diagnosed with advanced stages of prostate cancer, which is more difficult to treat. One Phoenix survivor is urging others to get screened now. I'm living my best life. Ben McLaurin travels the world, sharing stories about his life experiences that weren't always good. It was pure shock when I found out I had uh, prostate cancer. A routine health check in his 40s led to an early diagnosis of prostate cancer. I opted to do surgery and have it removed and then followed by uh, radiation and hormone therapy. Now McLaurin advocates for men's health, convincing others to get screened on time. If you catch it early, like I did, um, your chances for a positive and healthy outcome are much greater. So I would encourage guys, don't put it off. Screening is very easy. One in eight men will develop prostate cancer in their lifetime. Black men are 70% more likely to be diagnosed than white men, according to the American Cancer Society. Dr. Shamil Patel, a radiation oncologist at Dignity Health Cancer Institute, says men should get their first prostate cancer screening between 40 and 50 years old, depending on risk and family history. It's something better to catch earlier because then we can know whether to treat it or not to treat it. And it's, it's, it's better to always know that you have something versus just being in the dark about it. Big Lawrence advice to other cancer fighters and survivors, you don't need to go through it alone. Um, but one of the best things is to have that band of brothers that are standing alongside of you to encourage you and let you know that brighter days are ahead. McLaurin hosts a monthly breakfast group for other fighters and survivors. We have their contact info on our website, 12news.com. Reporting in studio, Gabriella Becerra, 12 News. Gabriella, thanks so much.